Hello Virgos, welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. We're going to start by um, talking a little bit about the fairies and elementals because I've just been feeling them lately guiding, that they're guiding us on this soulmate, twin flame, divine partner journey. And um, I wanted to display this very beautiful uh, fairy garden that my mom made and she hand makes these and she even makes these little miniature things herself. I I, she's just one of the most creative women that I know. I think some of it's rubbed off on me, so I'm going to be creating some things as well in the future. But if you're interested in this, just email me and she will um, custom make you your own berry, berry garden. I just think they're awesome. Um, and so fairies themselves, to me, I feel like if you, if you know me, I am a fairy for sure. Like, I, you know, that's part of me. And they're just magical they, they love nature, flowers, they are, love to be helpful, they can be very mischievous, it's a, they're carefree, um, they enjoy life, they dance, they sing, they, they have parties, they, I mean, I, I just feel, and they're so close to us. But I want to read just a little bit from here, and Spirit guided me to, for, I'm reading this for each of the readings, so if you're listening for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, you can skip this part if you want, but... Just a little tiny bit from the fairy Bible here. Uh, okay, so they're from um, the other world, a dimension of existence close to our own, which overlaps with ours from time to time and from place to place. For some people, the other world and its fairy desinens is ever present. Fairies are nature spirits who tend growing things. They are the elemental entities of air, fire, water, and earth. They are the ancient goddesses and gods. Yes, they may also be angels, spirit messengers bearing wisdom, and they can be creatures of mischief. All are fascinating. And this, this last statement was, was, is really powerful, and it's something for everybody. That's why I wanted to read this. Fairies demand and deserve respect. Learn their ways in order to experience the best of them. Virgos, you de should demand and deserve respect. And people... Your partner, your divine partner, your soulmate will pay attention to you and learn about you and make you a priority. So remember that, that you are worthy. You deserve ultimate love and happiness and abundance in your life. And if anyone treats you otherwise, that is not your soulmate. That's not your twin flame. Sometimes we go through painful experiences maybe with our twin flame on the journey, but if they're not in a place to treat you like that, then you choose yourself. And before I started the reading, I prayed and meditated like I do on all the cards, and I shuffled, and these two came out because I just wanted to get an idea for Virgos, April and beyond, for your soulmate twin flame journey. Well, Virgos, hallelujah, praise the Lord, because I'm a Virgo. Debt paid off. <laughs> The old weight and, and habit of debt is lifted from you in your life. Now, this does mean financial debt, so I do feel that it will help your love life for you to get on track and have more finances, but really, we're talking about love and, and, and energy. It's like your energetic debt to the past are paid off, like your, your karmic debts or however you look at it. The old weight of the past, that energetic debris that's been holding you down and on your shoulders is... Just it's it's finally done. It's over. You can let go of the past and move forward on this journey. And you have done everything you can. You you know Virgos were really good about this and we're diligent about working on the things that are important to us. And we are important to ourselves. We are. We can be very critical of ourselves too. So that could be something that you need. That's a message for some Virgo out there that you need to let go of being so self-critical. Because you are perfect just the way you are. You are beautiful, you are worthy, and you deserve love. But you have to love yourself first. That really, truly is the key. And take care of yourself. Nurture yourself. Find that God and goddess within and let that shine. Let your light shine to the world. And connect with nature. I mean, I can get a more perfect card to go with fairies because they're all about connecting with nature. So it's time to go outside Plan a garden. Enjoy the garden you already have, depending on what, what part of the world you're in. You know, for the U.S., it's springtime. So it's, you know, getting out there, enjoying the elements, sitting near a tree, you know, 
just listening, going within and, and, and listening to spirit because spirit is with you very strongly. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, of course, I'm going to use my fairy tarot cards, the Doreen Virtue and Bradley Valentine. And I just, I've just been feeling the energy. It just is really strong right now. And even if you don't know fairies or believe, just think about all the magic in your life. Just think about, feel, think about everything you've ever wanted coming true because it's, it's all so very possible for Virgos. Okay, so we're gonna get an idea of where Virgos are at on this journey. Like, where are you at? Who's coming for you? Who's with you now? And this can be if you're in a relationship or not. If, if maybe you just met someone, maybe they haven't come in yet. Maybe you're in a relationship and you're kind of trying to figure it out or look to see how you can make it better. Well, the Eight of Autumn is uh, the Eight of Pentacles, so you're on the right track. Learn from others. Learn from other people's experiences. The older, wiser people that have gone on this journey, look to them. Learn from them. Ask questions. How did they get there? How did... How did you bring this person into your life? How did you keep this marriage going for so long? Whatever it is, it's different for everybody, but you're on the right track. So the eight is you're on the right track. So keep going. And look to the long term is what it's saying. This is long term. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. So the then comes the nine, right? What did I say? You're on the right track. So this is just spirit saying, yes, you are. Come on, Virgo. Just keep taking the steps. You're on the right track. So moving into the nine of pentacles, which is, you know, being really fulfilled within yourself, having everything you need and you're fine on your own and you're feeling very fruitful and abundant on your own. You're, you're you know, creative. You're, you're just sitting pretty right now. And it's because you've taken the steps or this is where you're going if you keep taking the steps. So no matter where you are in the journey, you're on the right track. So keep going. And this is you feel, loving yourself and feeling great. So guess what? You're in the perfect energy to bring that person in or to establish more of a commitment in something that you're in already or a resurgence of what you've got going on. But you're feeling good on your own and that is key. Loving yourself and feeling good on your own and staying aligned. That is your job. That's your only job. The Ten of Springs, you know, Ten of Wands feeling burdened, like, you know, maybe this is like you've got all these different things going on. Maybe they're good things, too. It doesn't always mean negative things, but you've got all this energy and spirit help around you. But and, and ask your friends for help. Ask people for help. You don't have to carry the world on your shoulders, Virgo. We tend to do that, I know, but you don't have to. There are people around you that want to help you and be a part of your life. And, and, and you know, it's time that you, you make the choices for you and say no to the things that you want to say no to. Say no to the people that are offering you scraps. No, that's not. No, burden. Maybe this is you letting go of all the, all the energetic burden of the past, of all these past relationships and people that didn't work out and made you feel less of a less of yourself because look she's in rags and she doesn't she's not like seeing the true beauty of who she really is so if you've been put down by others and knocked down it's time for you to say no I'm done with that lay it down and start because guess what the full energy is here for you the new fresh start so you lay down these burdens of the past you're good on your own you're on the right track and embrace your, your true purpose. Embrace who you really are. It's time to spread your wings. You have a lot of spirit guidance. There's a bird and a dog in here that means something to someone. A bird, a dog. So for someone, that, that's a message for you, Virgo. So just keep keep going because you're, look, you're on the right path. That's just lovely. I feel like this is a lot, like definitely your energy where you're at right now. So yeah, it's the, the nine of swords. Like you, you You've got to like let yourself get um, out of this energy, and it, you're, it's an illusion that you're trapped. It's fears are an illusion; they're a false reality. So it's like worrying for nothing, you know, kind of a thing. Like she's worrying, but there's nothing to worry about. You're on the right track, and you have this full energy, this opportunity. And right, you're walking away from people who did not treat you right, whether you're masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. You're walking away from dishonest associations, right? Look, he's walking away. He's like, nope, I'm done. I'm not dealing with this anymore, or it could go the other way around. The ladies are walking away and saying, nope, he's, 
full of crap and I'm done with this. So it could go either way, however you're resonating, but it's time to let that past go. Let those, put those swords down, put down your burdens. It's time to end these cycles so that you can have this new fresh start because you are really a wonderful, beautiful, amazing person. You really are. And you're more abundant than you think you are. And look, yeah, the seeds have been planted. The seven of pentacles, your seeds of love have been planted. Let go of this past energy, new fresh energy. You've planted the seeds. Keep your thoughts positive. Go out, have some fun, connect with nature, and listen to the guidance and have patience because it's all coming together, but you need to be patient. It's not quite time yet because there's still a few things that need to happen. Okay. Well, we're going to take the world came out, but it came out last, so we're going to keep that as the last here for you. Okay, yes. It's time to release. It's time to release old thought patterns, belief systems, anything that doesn't serve you. It's time to release the burdens, release the old relationships, release the, the partners or the people that you were in relationships with or that are trying to get your attention that aren't really following through. It's time to release it all. It's just time. Think about it's, it, you know, six of cups is like reminiscent of the past. This means that someone from your past could be coming back in. So, and, and it, you have to release the thoughts that you had of them prior if you're wanting them back into your life. Now, if this is someone that you're not wanting in, this is, this is not the message for you. But if it's someone that you're wanting back in, you have to remember what it was like, their true self, their inner self, their inner child. Go back to how it felt like when you were younger. If you're in a relationship, this is a message to think back of how wonderful it once was, because it had to be wonderful at some point. Find that innocence again. Find that passion, that flirt, and be do sweet little things for one another is what I'm hearing. And it also could be someone from a past life coming in that is your your soulmate and twin flame, and they are meant to be yours, and it is, or someone that you knew that you weren't in a relationship with, you just met them. And, and now they're in your life again, and it's it's just beautiful, but it's time to release and not even really worry or think about these other people anymore because they, they're not, not necessary anymore in, in your life. Okay, so here here's the first, you know, kind of masculine coming in aside from this younger boy. So, um, but, but coming in for you, okay, the Prince of Spring. This is like the Prince of Wands. So it's a very youthful energy coming in. It's wild. It's free, but very passionate. And he's riding in towards you and he wants your, he has messages for you and he has love to share with you. And he's feeling youthful again and, and like very fertile on his big giant rabbit. <laughs> So for some, it might be very fertile. That might be a message for some of you Virgos, that there's fertility in the air. So take that however you want. And yes, the Ace of Swords is truth and clarity are yours now. And you're cut, cut it through the illusions. Know who you are. You have a fresh new start of truth and clarity and moving forward. And this is you walking your path, standing in your power knowing the truth, having clarity. You're connected to the divine. You have your spirit animals, your spirit guides, and a giant cat, I love anything cat, um, is with you now, helping guide you. So keep, you're on the right track. Keep stepping forward. Even in the winter months, even in the cold, you're still, you're on the right track, okay? Even if it feels like you're in winter. And the world is yours. It's the it's time. It's time to complete the end and the world is yours and you have the opportunity to have everything you've ever wanted in your life and in love um, if you just let some of these cycles and release the past and look, you're release and you're oh, spreading your wings and it's time to take flight. Just like this picture, spreading your wings. Everything's just, don't worry about it. Look, she's spreading her wings. Butterflies is a message for someone. Obviously they're fairies, but I heard butterflies. So these are looking very butterfly-ish in nature, all of the wings. So butterflies could be a sign for someone out there. Um, that needed to hear that. And at the bottom of the deck is the high priestess. So listen to your intuition, Virgo. You're right on point. Your intuition's strong. You know, and you, and you know the truth within. And so just know and, and take the divinely guided steps. Now, Virgo, we're going to move into the Wisdom of the House of the Night by Colette Baron reeds cards to get a feel for your soulmate, your twin flame, your divine partner, whether that be the masculine or feminine, depending on who's watching. 
take what resonates with you. Maybe this is the other person and this will be you, but as I intended it, this would be the Virgo and this is the partner, but it could be the other way around. Time is an illusion, energy is fluid. So, you know, the message will stick the way it's supposed to stick. Okay, what's going on with Virgo's uh, twin flame divine partner? What is it that is going on for them, spirit? Ooh, that's a big chunk of cards. No, I said no. Keep going, Virgo. Virgo's partner. Okay. Okay, right now, um, twin flame soulmate, your partner is working on calling um, their soul back to them, calling their power back. They're feeling a bit fragmented by now thinking about the past, thinking about what's happened, but they are seeing the light within themselves and they're seeing the truth and they're working on cutting through the illusions. It's, it, you know, coming into themselves is what I'm hearing. And I mean, they're, they're listening. They're listening to spirit. They don't want to be fragmented anymore. They want to be whole again. Yeah, they're trying to break down the walls. They, they realize they've been too rigid. Uh, they've been too rigid with their belief systems, too rigid with themselves, too much structure. Sometimes, you know, structure is good. You know, Virgos, we like structure. But sometimes if you're overly structured and you're kind of like a robot, it's like, and then you've been hurt, so you build these walls, and you're so and, and so rigid. It's like they're, it's they need to break down these walls and be a little more open and be a little more, you know, um, I guess vulnerable to the best degree of vulnerability. And and that's maybe a message for you, Virgo, to not be so to take your walls down and not be so rigid, because this this person, your partner, needs. Um, needs a little softness from you, Virgo. So that is it, and, and another message for some Virgo, some some Virgos out there, because we, you know, can be harsh and can be very rigid sometimes. And so it's a message for you to let down your walls as well, as they're letting. Because the more you let down your walls, the more their walls come down. Yeah, it's time they're 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 being honest with themselves. Like I said, they they know they're seeing the truth. They're lighting that. Look at that flame. That's like a to me. That's like you know the the ace of wands. Like that single flame, getting truth and honesty and lighting the passion within themselves to move forward and be authentic and speak their truth. And this person that is a very honest person, a very passionate person, um, a very um, trustworthy person. This partner, the soulmate, and look right after that, and we're talking about the flame. See, like like the Ace of Wands type feeling, and the High Priestess of Fire, which would be like the Queen of Wands kind of a feeling there. And it's like she's coming in, like that. That's how he sees you, as beautiful. If the mat, that's how the masculine. If this is the masculine for this part. He's seeing the feminine this way. If this is you and you're connecting, this is you. And this is telling you um, or your partner that to focus on that fire within, that creativity, taking action, uh, being passionate about everything that you do. So they're working on this and this is how they see you is what I'm getting from it. Is This is how they see you and this is how you should see yourself, Virgo, is, is really standing in your power and, and lighting that fire. And sometimes we need that. We need to light that fire. We need to light that passion of fire. We need someone to come in and help us light it. And that's what this person is going to do is just light that passion. Get that passion back. See, like, it's this, look, it's it all goes together. This this Prince of Wands, like, coming in with all this passion. And this is a very passionate relationship. Yeah, cycles are ending for them. Uh, major, major cycles. And so they're just working through that. They're cutting through the illusions of fear and they're seeing the truth and they're seeing the love that they have to offer and they're seeing, they're feeling the love that you have for them. And there's hope. This came out in the last reading too, hope. So did cycles. So there's a lot of people ending cycles and having hope. They're having hope for you, for this relationship. They are hopeful. They, they, they want this. They, that's why they're working so hard to be whole again and break down the walls. But you also have to let down your walls in order for them to feel comfortable coming forward. Um, and that's that's definitely a message for someone out there. 
Okay, and there is hope for you in this, just so you know. There's a lot of hope. And they, they think, you, they feel that you're beautiful and your light is shining and, and calling them home. And so keep shining that light so brightly. Appreciate even the smallest things, the one rose you have in your life. That that's how they'll think of you. They will they treasure you and they they value you and you are the most beautiful, abundant person ever that they could ever imagine being in in their life. And they feel so much passion for you. And they just want to be with you and be intimate with you and be close with you. So this is the kind of relationship that you have coming in, a very honest, open, passionate relationship. At the bottom of the deck, it, I had to say it is, is conclusion. Like chapters are ending. It's a new book opening. And there's opportunity for, um, for a lot of growth and a lot of love and a lot of healing in this relationship. And that's what they're doing. They're just closing it out. So just be a little patient with that and like work on your sacral chakra and really bringing that fire and passion and creativity and focus on what's important to you and focus on yourself and be this queen of wands and, and call your, your, your prince who's moving into being a king. That's what he's working on. That's, that's the message. He is working on become from a prince, from being a little immature in his love and his emotions to being the king and so he's got to take this time to go within and end some cycles and and start fresh and new and your beauty and your light is leading him home wow time to take a risk they say they're saying take a risk take a risk on this we're going to see what the romance angels have to say virgo for this soulmate twin flame connection whether you're in union or not, what does spirit have to say? Okay, there we go. Playfulness, yes, like I said with fairies, very playful. Get out, do some fun things, go in nature, be playful, flirt. Oh God, flirting is so much fun. Flirt, 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 flirt. And, and, um, and, and get googly eyes and look someone in the eyes. Oh my gosh, so many people don't do that. Oh, it's so beautiful. The eyes are the window to their soul. Look at them. Use your body language to flirt. You don't always have to even use words. Energetically, you can close your eyes and meditate and connect with, with your partner and be flirty with them and imagine all the wonderful, amazing things that you're going to do together. It's worth waiting for. Yeah, like I said, be patient. It's worth, this is a love worth waiting for. And the divine is working in your favor. Just keep taking the steps because you're on the right path. You truly are, Virgo. You're on the right path. Keep focusing on yourself, loving yourself, appreciating all that you have and, and lighting that fire of passion and creativity. And, you know, the divine is, it's, it's, they're working in your favor. It's, it'll come soon. And look, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. That's what I said, right? He's praying for you, or the masculine is praying for you, the feminine is praying for you, however this fits for you uh, in your life. Um, but the, it's it's just connecting in that way. This is way beyond the, the, the 3D. It's way beyond this, this world and this life and this physical body. This goes way beyond. So this is someone I feel that you've known before, that you've been with in the past, that you're with on, on the spirit world. And it's like they know and they feel you. So whether you're in union or not, they, they feel you. And it's worth waiting for and being patient for this person to really come forward. And I feel like he's gonna, he's really working on coming forward with this very passionate message for you of commitment. Um, but just kind of figuring a few things out of how to do that and go about that. But your light is guiding your masculine. The feminine's light is guiding the masculine is what I'm hearing. So just keep being beautiful, amazing you. And at the bottom of the deck, it's safe for you to love. So if you've been hurt in the past and you're letting go of these associations, remember, don't worry about those anymore because it's safe for you to love. Spirit's with you. They're helping guiding this, uh, this union. And it's safe. For some of you, 
the winter months, depending on your work, are going to bring everything in, into full fruition. It doesn't mean it's not going to start till then. It just means everything will come together. Maybe the full commitment will come together in the winter. Maybe you'll be living with the person in the winter. Possibly you live far apart and, and you're going to be, you know, needing to move. That's why he's coming forward on his little rabbit vehicle for you. They're coming to get you and take you with me kind of a thing. So whatever that means in your life, you'll, you'll find out as you let it unfold. Our last messages are going to be from the Magical Unicorns. And, woo, okay, we're going to take these two. Okay, a healer, or these three. A healer, you have the power to help heal others. So if you're thinking, you know, a lot of Virgos are naturally healers. Um, it just becomes, comes natural. But if this is something you're looking into to sort of work on yourself and, and move forward, this is definitely a confirmation to look into that class or um, workshop or whatever it is that you want to take or look to a healer. Um, there's lots of healers like myself out there in, in the world and look to a healer to ask questions to, however that resonates with you, to heal this situation. And talk, yep, talk about your feelings with someone. Tell it, yep, that so maybe it's time for some of you to go speak with someone who has experience, who's been through relationships, who, you know, this, this wise woman here, right, in this that started the thing. You know, look to someone who's been through things or you know, does this for a living or, you know, has accomplished and been on this journey. And, um, and it's, it's important for you to be open and honest and talk about the way that you feel with, you know, with others, with a friend, uh, with, uh, you know, loved ones, a counselor and, and with your partner and, and be thankful for what you do have. And here's a cat and here's a cat. So and, and another more cat confirmations if cats are, you know, a sign for you. But be thankful for what you do have in your life. Be thankful for the experiences and how far you've come because you've really come far and you've worked hard and, and you, you deserve this great love. And if you have animals in your life, look to them, love on them because their love is unconditional just as the creator as God's love is. And so look to that unconditional love and let it fill you and surround you and, and just nurture yourself and be patient. And be thankful because everything that you've been wanting, this soulmate, this love of your life, the, the divine is with you, helping you, and it's and just be thankful. Be thankful before it even comes. And be positive with your thoughts. And it's all it's all coming together, Virgo. Um, I appreciate you all so very much and appreciate the support. And I hope to talk with you soon and, and read some comments about this and how it resonates. And you may want to listen to it a little later in the month again to see in April a little later down the line when the next full moon hits and see how that affects you because these cycles and these moons tell me that, you know, going through the cycles, being patient and, and just going through this next cycle. And I feel like it's all going to kind of come together and start to make sense. Have a beautiful day.